Each week we bring you an exclusive all-access look into this season with the De La Salle football team. Taylor Lambert joins us now with the latest edition of the season with De La Salle. Marissa, the Spartans of De La Salle have seemed to found their stride this year. Winners of the last two, we get you geared up for this week for a big game against visiting Orange Lutheran of Southern California by showing you it's not just the big names for the Spartans which make this engine go. The vibe on the De La Salle football field is mostly positive. Your name has been bantied about to take over that uh, for Jones for kickoff. <laughs> is that your answer? Is that the only excitement I'm going to get out of that? I'm excited about it. I was just like kind of contemplating. Contemplating. What, what are you contemplating? You got to sound like you got to be crazy about it. Contemplating. What are you, a Buddhist monk? This is kickoff. <laughs> Head coach Justin Allenbaugh, per usual, is running scout team quarterback. He's on fire today, receiving skepticism from the defense. Allenbaugh's deflating the ball. Allenbaugh's performance is convincing. Same goes for the Spartans in their most recent win against Servite, where big names for DLS came up big. But just like this play, sometimes, it's the smallest players on the field which make the largest impact. As 5'7", Keanu Andrade makes the play on Coach Allenbaugh. Andrade leads a trio of undersized players for De La Salle. Keanu starts at middle linebacker alongside 5'6", Logan Nonis, while conservatively tall Isaiah Taltua make up the Mangus tribe. Why the Manguses? Well, because four years ago DLS had a short guy named Mango, now all players modest in stature are referred to as Manguses. These things are apparently simple in nature. All three, Nonis, Andrade, and Tautua, are between 5'6 and 5'7. Are they that tall? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. 5'8 five, five, maybe on a good day. But all kidding aside, on a team overflowing with blue chip prospects and Division I talent, these undersized Magnuses are leaned on heavily. Yeah, we, we play a lot of uh, huge teams, but I feel like uh, Coach Allenbaugh emphasizes uh, that if we have our technique down, uh, we'll be prepared for anybody again uh, ahead of us. That's our advantage, I feel. I mean, uh, we may look small, but I think we pack a big hit as long as we get under people. I, I, li I like being little because people don't expect it, and then they'll, they'll come and hit me and I'll just get lower than them, put my chin right under them. Hey, look for that wing. You know what I'm saying? No needs. look for that wing. Make sure and get wide enough. Good, there it is. Good, Donis. Stay up. But when you're smaller than pretty much everybody else on the field, you have to make yourself stand out. You have to work harder. You have to make them notice you. In the case of uh, Logan, he's, you know, he, he really worked hard on the practice squad, on the scout team. And uh, that's where we noticed him and gave him a shot. And when you're at a size disadvantage, it's nice to have a like-minded partner to bounce ideas off of. And first play, a guy drove me back and I was too high the rest of the game. I'd squat before every, every play, literally squat, just to, so I could stay low and explode through. There we go. Better, better, Tad, that's better. I'd rather you get some more push than least. It's dinner time. The Spartans get together the day before each game and have team dinner. On the field, these young people look like men, but at dinner, they're just kids again. Yeah, hey, you need to be in Algebra 2 and you can get in. Oh my, that's... That's so easy. Grant got in. So. And it's not even no, harder. Hey, you'll, you'll be good. Grant no, it's not that bad. <laughs> hey, all you see is this. Look, all you see is this. He's <laughs> alive. <laughs> Longtime supporters of the program are back to serve up pasta and salad. Everyone here is an alum of DLS. Played on the team. Part of the program. It's been awesome. It's neat to see the changes, but yet it's nice to see that some things don't change. Like this. Enjoy, man. Well, I wonder what's going on. Tradition. That's what this dinner's all about. From players standing in front of the team and reviewing each other's goals to the sophomores building dessert houses for the coaches. <laughs> Julie, you put your fingers on the dessert. What do we have? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Who wants Julie's finger dessert? Terrible. By all means, dig it. Who wants dessert pizza? I do. I'll tell you what you want. Is this thing? Pumpkin bread. Hello. Oh, the chefs did a great job. The dessert pizza I haven't had yet, but Nate, Nate can tell me about that. The Spartans look forward to this week's game against Orange Lutheran, a big team. 
highly ranked in California. The guys tomorrow night. Those guys will bow. A lot of them are returners too, and they played and they played some good D linemen. So that'll be a good battle. It'll be a good game. A really good game. Anybody to hold Centennial to seven points yeah. at half. It's gonna be good though. Can't be bad. But when asking what Alex Colon Aguilar wants to do against Orange Lutheran, his answer is very De La Salle. My job. <laughs> Now it should be a good one against Orange Lutheran, a really big team in the trenches. So make sure you tune in next week for the full game recap and highlights and more of the season with De La Salle, which has been awesome, if I do say so myself. Very fun. I've been enjoying it.